What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about why you should never drink tap water. We'll be right back. I've seen many scary movies, but I've never thought what I saw at the bottom of my water distiller would be the scariest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. What the hell have I been drinking? Here I'm going to list some of the things that we've been consuming for years. These are some extremely poisonous chemicals and over time have been known to cause major health problems. You look a little green right now. Perhaps you need a drink of water? Yeah, that's not the only thing you'll find in your tap. You might live in an older part of town that may still have pipes that are 100 years old. Remember the use of lead was very common back then. And we wonder why people are being diagnosed with Alzheimer's at an alarming rate. In fact, lead contributes to memory loss. There are a number of different types of prescription drugs and hormones now that are being found in tap water. And let us not forget the chemicals in which they treat the water to kill bacteria and other microorganisms, plus the pesticides that leach into the drinking water. Here are some of the things you'll find in tap water. Chlorine, fluoride, THM, arsenic, radium, aluminum, copper, lead, mercury, calcium, barium, hormones, nitrates and pesticides. Now, if we add gold and silver, we'll have enough elements to actually complete an entire element chart, which is great except for we shouldn't be drinking it. It's getting out of hand, folks. This is why I can't stress enough the reason why we need to detox regularly, or you can just buy a water distiller. This will help with detox and reduce your exposure to unwanted chemicals our food is being sprayed with pesticides and being genetically modified, meats are being injected with hormones, water is a chemical nightmare, and our air pollution is at an all-time high. We must lower our exposure to as many toxins as possible so we can live a long and healthy life. Fluoride, why is it if you swallow a toothpaste, you are instructed to immediately call poison control but yet adding fluoride to our drinking water is perfectly okay. Even the American Cancer Society says that fluoride can be directly linked to a cancer called Arcea sarcoma, a type of bone cancer. Let's see some photos of my water distiller after one use. Discretion is advised. I will give this an R rating for foul images. This may cause nausea. Children should not be allowed to see or drink this. I own a charcoal water filter, which is one of the few that can actually filtrate fluoride out of your drinking water. My grievances for this type of filter is that the charcoal cartridges cost about $25 each to replace and need to be frequently changed out if you consume lots of water. Ever since I bought my resin water distiller, there is no need to change out expensive filters. Proof the distiller is doing its job is left for you to see at the bottom of the reservoir. I no longer buy water bottles because of the DEHA that leaches into the water. DEHA is a known endocrine disruptor and may even possibly cause cancer. A lot of these bottle companies store their water in warehouses and transport in trucks that are exposed to the elements like heat and cold that can actually increase the amount of chemical released in the water. Ever had a bottle of water that sat in the sun and tasted like plastic? And let us not forget the environmental damage these plastic bottles are causing. I have seen water distillers from 3,000 to under 100. They also make water distillers that are plastic and have plastic reservoirs. One of the reasons to distill your water is to not be exposed to plastic. We are trying to avoid as many toxins as possible. The resin distiller I have used for the last year has given me zero problems and I use it once or twice a day every single day. So hey guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing you more informative videos that you can apply to your life to make you the healthiest and the fittest version of yourself. Thank you again.